Hello people, in this video let us look at this exam preparatory manual for undergraduates. This is medicine subject by Archit Bulur and Ramdas Nayak. This book is um, heavily used by MBBS students to pass medicine in final year. This book is quite voluminous, has a lot of information, tables, flowcharts, clinical images, a few of them, conjunctival suffusion and jaundice in leptospirosis. Some more clinical images here. I'm guessing this is uh, filariasis vocereria bancrofti. Yeah. So, this book is more of a question answer type, isn't it? Because it is an exam preparatory manual. So, here's the question. Can you see people? Write a note on pregnancy consideration in patients with HIV. So there should be less parent to child transmission, isn't it? So what and all will you give? Lamivudine, Abacavir, Tenofovir, Emtricitabine, etc. And then you will add a integrase inhibitor, protease inhibitor, etc. So basically here, this book is telling you how to answer questions. The question is given and how will you answer it? which is a very favorite format for students, isn't it? And um, the book is chapter-wise, see, respiratory system. So just respiratory system runs for hundreds of pages in this book. And now we have come to cardiology. Cardiology, write a short note on apical impulse. So you will have to write the definition of apical impulse, cause of normal apical impulse, why does it happen, right? <clears throat> but what I feel is they should have also shown a clinical diagram as to fifth intercostal space, isn't it? Where do you get the apical impulse? Have they marked it here? It's there in this box. You can see left fifth intercostal space. This should have, this question according to me, should have come with a clinical image here showing the fifth intercostal space being palpated. That is what is lacking in this book. Otherwise, this is more like a, a question-answer format textual. That is why we say read books like David's Son, which will give you clinical images and very latest information, reliable information. These books are not something that you quote. Yeah, Achit Bulu says this. You cannot write that. You know, that is not going to save you. But if you say Davidson says it, then he definitely that is the truth. So you can, those are the facts. These books can have mistakes. So... Anyways, this is a very uh, heavily used book by MBBS students like we told you. So, look at this book and decide. This is GI, Gastroenterology. So, what is this table? Let's just take some look at it. Clinical features of carcinoid tumors. Intestinal obstruction by the tumor can happen. Hepatic, hepatic metastasis, jaundice, cardiac involvement can happen. Then this side also is going intestinal ischemia. Is it this one? Facial telling ectasia. Okay, I think it is. This is what is going to happen. This is a clinical feature. Okay. So, some graphs here which you will have to draw in the exam. That's what they are trying to say. And what is this? Let's look at this. Wait. <clears throat> so, what is there at the end of every chapter? Nothing. No summary as such. Just question answer and how do you approach the question that's what is important you will always define it and you know causes clinical features management right so that is how they have given this book is quite expensive also isn't it so people who would have 
looked at this book knows that it is quite an expensive book and quite a huge book voluminous exam preparatory manual for undergraduates medicine book and this is some questions that appeared in neat pg and they are trying to say this image came is it castles necklace pelegra sheehan syndrome where is the answer to it so all the questions that came and where is the answer to it that's what they are saying here chapter 3 page number 133 box 3.26 this i think is like they are trying to sell their book saying that you have the answers here okay it's not some chart that you would actually stick on your wall and use it daily nothing like that so <clears throat> we are done looking at this book people so that's all for now in this video bye bye